Um, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to show you today a few um, stretches, exercises you can do with addressing pelvic pain or especially if you've ever heard of uh, pelvic floor tightness. So we're going to start by doing a few things lying down. We're going to start with diaphragmatic breathing or as I like to call it, belly breathing. It looks like this. It's going to be breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Um, through purse lips. So I'm going to do a few and I like to put my hands on my abdomen so I can feel the movement. Here we go. Two more. So that's the diaphragmatic breathing. The next thing is called happy baby, so if you've done yoga before, this should look familiar. This may or may not feel like a stretch to you, but you want it to feel comfortable and relaxing. You're going to support your legs with your hands. Usually people will traditionally grab at the feet, but if that feels kind of pinchy in your hip flexors, you can also just hug your knees like this. And when you do this, I usually tell my patients stay for at least two minutes and you're just trying to relax. That's pretty much it. And again, you can either hold here, here, or at your knees. And you're just hanging out, pretty much. So that's the second thing. The third thing is a stretch for the hip adductors, the inner thigh muscles. And we're going to choose the lying down butterfly stretch. So my feet are going to be together. You've probably seen the seated version, but I'm going to do the lying down version. Gravity is just taking over, pulling my knees down and you're just going to hang out. Um, again, if you're really trying to relax your pelvic floor, stay for at least a minute, if not two. So that's, I think, all of our lying down ones. The last thing I'm going to show you, kind of along the lines of the happy baby, another alternate version to relax your pelvic floor, especially if you're at work or you're on a run and you're feeling kind of some discomfort, this is a good go-to one and it's called a deep squat stretch. You just collapse whatever flexibility you have in a deep squat. I have a little too much mobility. So you can have your elbows kind of inside your knees, relax your hands. Again, just hang out for at least a couple minutes if you have the time. Relax, breathe, and that's it. So that is all we showed you. Again, a few things for relaxing the pelvic floor um, if you've got discomfort or pain in that area.